Welcome back, boys and girls. And guess what my wife bought for my birthday? Yes, my very first over and under shotgun. Let's unbox it. Okay, let's see what we got here. I mean, I've already opened it at the FFL, but this is how it came. Here's the receiver with a bus stop. Right, huh? They pick it really nice actually. The box is pretty sturdy. They pick it pretty nicely. And that looks pretty nice. Now I've never owned an over and under shotgun, so I don't know, actually don't, don't even know how to work it. I mean, I have a good idea how. Let's see if I can get this thing together. Okay. And then, here's the instruction manual. I hope I don't have to read this. Alright, that's everything in the box. That's everything. This is everything that was in the box. Nice receiver with a bus stop and 26 inch barrels, ventilated barrels, which is really nice looking. And it's a four end stock here. And it came with a container for the chokes. It's got two chokes in the barrels already. And then it's got three more in here. So they come with a skip, improved cylinder, improve modify modify and foot choke so that's that's pretty good that's everything i needed so and then it came with the manual i probably won't have to read this now my understanding is that after you remove the forehand put this in there like this Okay, and then put this back in here. I want to be careful, I don't want to break anything. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, it looks pretty nice. I mean, I'm very impressed for 441. I mean, we have to go out and shoot it and see how it shoots, but it looks really nice. It's really light, balanced really well, and uh, only 441. I mean, probably I would have paid 600 for it, but why pay more if you could get away with less, right? All right, so we got 26, 26 inch barrels, and uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's got the fiber optic side which I don't mind. I think it shows, I mean, I, I can see it really well, especially with my aging eyes. And uh, it's got high gloss finished walnut stock. And the walnut stock is actually looks really nice. It's dark uh, walnut and it's, it, and it's got really well-defined check rings on them. And it's got an all steel receiver in silver and they did a engraving in it. I think it's there's the laser engraving on laser etching. And at the bottom it says TriStar. It's got engraving on the trigger guard as well. And according to them, this is already supposed to weigh 6.3 pounds. But well, let's see how much this thing weighs. It's about 6.7. It's a little more than what they say, but still, uh, it's a very light shotgun. I could carry this all day, and it balances really well. I just hope this thing shoots well. Now, I've seen some reviews on, on online, and it seems like everybody's happy with it. And let's open the brake. I mean, let's break open the action and see how it feels. It's a little bit stiff, but not too bad, honestly. And a lot of people are saying, like, after 50 rounds or so, this should breaking really well and like most 
over and under that's the safety this this safety and this is fire and then you could switch and you can also uh, select the which barrel that you want to fire first so if you move it to the right it says you that means under so this will fire the under first and then you will fire the upper barrel now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a skid choke at the bottom and then i'm gonna put a improved modifier on the top so uh when the birds first take off i'll have a wider spread and then when and if i miss and if they get away then i'll have uh, something that that i could reach a little bit further with mod uh, improved modify everything feels pretty good and uh, also this thing has what they call a mechanic a uh, trigger most over and under shotguns when i did a research is that when you do a f i mean when you break the uh, action open and put two shells in there and when you take the first shot that recoil actually resets the second shot so if you have a misfire on the first shot you're not gonna uh, have the second shot or or according to larry if you don't shoulder your shotgun really tight and if it doesn't have enough recoils on it then you might not have a second shot but uh, with a mechanical trigger it doesn't have that you could pull it twice Francis fire one two so you have two shots regardless so that's really nice and the trigger actually feels really nice uh it feels probably about maybe about five pounds and uh i like it actually and the trigger even looks nice now what else we got in here uh i guess that's about it I just have to take it out to the range and see how this thing shoots. Now the recoil pad, this is not very soft, but then this is 20 gauge, so I don't mind. This year I was introduced to bird honey, a chucker honey by Larry, and I am I am very, very happy with it. I think I am hooked. So I was looking to buying an over and under shotgun, and uh, for a couple of reasons actually. Uh, first of all, it's the safety. Uh, I only had 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun. Uh, now the problem with that is that I have five shells and once I shoot a chucker, I still have loaded shotgun, even though it's in safety. So I have to be very self-conscious about pointing my shotgun, pointing up to the sky. And that could get kind of tiresome, but with uh, over and under, after you shoot a chucker, you could just open the action and just carry it like this, this way. It's very safe and once the bullets start pointing then you could put your shells in there so number one was for the safety reason now number two is that you know with a single barrel semi-automatic i only have one barrel so what i did was i was carrying it with an improved modify now problem with that is that i had to give birth probably about five to six seconds so i don't shoot them too quickly otherwise it could really mess them up or sometimes I could actually miss it as well. So with over and under, I could put skip for the first shot and then improve modify for the second shot. So when the bird first take off, I could quickly get on and shoot it without you know, worrying about how badly it's going to damage it. And then if I miss it, and if it gets away a little bit further, I have improved modify to uh, you know, shoot it a bit further. So those are two reasons that you know, I was looking to buy over and under. And I was actually looking into Browning uh, Synergy and that the MS, uh, MSRP was like 1999 or something like that. And the cheapest one that I could find was like 1600. Uh, I still thought that was pretty decent, but then I came across TriStar uh, when I stopped by the local gun shop and they had one in 12 gauge. And they had that shotgun sitting there for quite a while, so it was priced only at $3.99. So when I asked them if they could get one for me in 20 gauge, uh, when they made a couple of calls, they say, you know, nowadays that, you know, for them to get a 20 gauge, it would cost me 600 So I came on, went, you know, went online, I did my search, and at Buzz Gun Shop, they had this shotgun for 441 And it seems like everybody had a really good review on it and everybody was happy with it and i like the looks and uh i mean nothing's this weighted less than most of the shotguns that i seen on any uh online uh shotguns i mean 
most weight over seven pounds and some even weighs over eight pounds. But uh, they said this is 6.3, but this actually weighs 6.7. But this is a very light shotgun. It looks really nice. It feels good. So hopefully I could put this into really good news. Okay, I'm at the trap range and uh, I wish I could show you how this thing shoots. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna catch. I'm here by myself, so. Well, let's try and see how it goes. Oh! Okay, I went through about 50 rounds and I did not have a single malfunction. It fired every time. I wish I could have shot better, but that's on me. So as for the shotgun, it shot great. Uh, and the action is actually getting much smoother than it was before. So I'm very happy with it and I'm sure it's, I'm just sure gonna get better as I shoot it more. And if you're asking if the shotgun is worth 441, I think this is worth about a thousand bucks or more. As you've seen it, I am in love with my TriStar. Uh, fit and finish on this, as you can see, it's really nice and tight. You don't see any any kind of gap, no play. And the bright action really got much better. And the trigger, nice and crisp. Honestly, I don't know how, how I got this for 441, but it's my birthday, right? And also my kids got GoPro for me, the latest version of GoPro for my birthday. So yes, I am happy, happy, happy. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have. Enjoy your life with what you got. But mostly, you really should get what you want for your birthday. So tell them what you want. See you.